What is faith? I hope this video gives some clarity and understanding on the idea of faith and how it is one of the most important words to understand in the Bible. In Hebrew, faith is amona, which means an agreement and support of another. In Greek, faith is pistis, which means to persuade, be persuaded, to trust and believe. An example of faith is this. Jimmy is a great basketball player for his high school team. Today he hasn't missed a shot. He scored half the team's points. The team is down by one and there's only three seconds left in the game. The team, the coach, and fans all want the ball in Jimmy's hands. Why? Because after seeing him play all season and seeing him play today, they are all in agreement and support of his skill and accuracy. They have been persuaded to this moment and trust and believe in him to shoot the final shot of the game. It's not a fingers crossed blind faith, it's an evidence based faith. We as believers put our faith, our trust, our support on the Bible which is God's word and we walk it out. We trust in him. We will put our very own lives on the line because of the faith produced in our heart towards God and his never ending promises fulfilled over the years. Hebrews 11, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen, for by it the men of old gained approval. By faith we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God so that what is seen was not made out of things which are visible. By faith Abel offered to God a better sacrifice than Cain. By faith Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death. Verse 6, and without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. By faith Noah, being warned by God about things not yet seen. By faith Abraham, when he was called, obeyed by going out. By faith even Sarah herself received ability to conceive. By faith Moses, when he had grown up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to endure ill treatment with the people of God, than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin. By faith he kept the Passover, by faith they passed through the Red Sea, by faith the walls of Jericho fell. Chapter 12 Therefore since we have such a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run the endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on Yeshua the author and perfecter of faith. Hebrews 10.35 Therefore do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what was promised. For yet in a very little while he who is coming will come and will not delay, but my righteous one shall live by faith, and if he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Faith is trusting in God and His promises of everlasting life. But now, today, we endure the struggle by choosing to obey Him and His Torah over man and their pleasures of sin. Persecution and even death may occur, but we stand strong on our faith knowing what is to come at the resurrection. John 3, that whoever believes in Him shall have eternal life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. It's the resurrection to come for those that trusted and obeyed God's word. Faith is seeing that God has never missed a shot in all of eternity, and our lives are short like the three seconds of the game compared to eternity. And we put our trust, our confidence in Him, that we lay aside everything to follow Him to victory over death. We don't take the ball and shoot for the win. We have and always will miss. He will make the shot, and those who believe in Him, those that trusted Him, will experience the win with him, everlasting life. This trust in him produces action in our lives to take action in obeying his voice, his commands, his word, the Torah, abstaining from sin. Put your faith in him, fight the good fight, endure even till death, knowing that in the end we shall live in faith with him forever. Thank you.